Hi everybody, it is Tuesday afternoon. I was um, at the office today and not a lot going on. We have people at a conference this week. So um, my manager said we could leave, but you know, log in from home. Um, so I've logged in, I have nothing going on. I need to tackle the outside today. <laughs> so um, I'd like to mow the backyard, edge, do what I need to do back there, clean off the patio, and I want to pull out my um, power washer and power wash the back patio because it is green. I will show you <laughs> what it looks like when we get out there, but I am going to get some water. I should go use the restroom before I get out there. Um, it is like 75 degrees outside. 75. Oh, I was right. Um, 75 degrees outside, but it is 3 o'clock. Almost 3.20 in the afternoon. And so it is the hottest part going towards the hottest part of the day. Um, so I'm gonna see how much I can get done. I also would like to mow the front yard. I don't think I need to edge, but I need to collect, collect up the leaves and everything. But the backyard is the focus. And then once I do all of that, I have boxes that need to be cleaned out of the garage. They just need to be torn down and gotten rid of because tomorrow is recycling day. So I need to get them ready to put out at the curb and everything. So I'm going to drink some water, go to the restroom, probably TMI, sorry, <laughs> and then head out. Those of you who are new, my name is Charlotte. I live in the Houston area. I do have a regular job outside of YouTube and I have currently three cats that live out inside and three that live outside and you see two of them here. One is Dollop, he is the white with the black spots and then Oreo is the tuxedo cat. And um, so the, the other one is a tuxedo cat as well and his name is Phantom, but you don't see him very often. That's why his name is Phantom. Um, but I am tackling my backyard. This is, I've been putting off this zone kind of, and I still need to work on it. So, um, I've been waiting for pollen season to be over with, and I still need to, need to get up on the roof and clean the roof off, uh, since pollen season is pretty much over. However, every time that I think about going up there, it starts raining. So I'd rather not be up on the roof trying to clean the roof off when it is raining outside. So I basically was tackling the backyard one day after work. And I'm thankful that the days are longer or starting to get longer and the time has changed to where I had more daylight to be able to get out and do this because it had been a while since I mowed the backyard, obviously with that little scene from behind the garage where the grass was really tall and I had to take it in little bits and pieces. I also went and tackled some other things as well. But as you can see here on the back patio, we have lots of staining. I need to clean off the furniture since it is moving in. Well, we're already moving into summer here in Houston. And um, I mean, obviously with 75 degrees, that's still kind of spring weather for us. But this week and this, I'm doing the vo voiceover a couple, uh, like a week and a half after I filmed this, we are already getting 80 degree days and 90 degree days. So we're already moving into summer and it is, the beginning of April. 
So um, as you can see, my white chairs were actually beige <laughs> and now I'm making them white again. So I knew I would have to do this regularly with the white chairs, but they were cheaper than buying the beige ones from Target. And then my little um, padded ones right here had a lot of mildew type stains on them. So I need to probably work on putting soap on them and cleaning them a little bit better, but I was just trying to get them, most of the dirt kind of power washed off of the surface of them and just give them a good clean down. I am not moving the wood stack because that is, there's lots of wood on that and it's heavy. So you'll see me power wash around and then under it. And then at one point I tried to use this little attachment that has like circular motions, but it, I need to like, somehow attach wheels to it or something like that because uh or i don't even know I, if i can do that but it basically was getting stuck on the concrete when i was trying to um, brush it and you can only and it wasn't getting the full thing so you'll see me attempt it you'll see like little lines circular lines where it kind of worked a little bit but I needed to pull out, do the main power wash like I'm doing right now, where I just took my time and did all of this. I didn't do my the best job. I do need to come back with like a solution or bleach or something like that, because there is still a lot of mildew areas on the brick and on the patio. So yet again, it's just something to work on a little bit later, but um, I was trying to get the majority of the dirt because it had actually been, um, this is the first time I'm actually power washing the patio since it was put in last year. So this is a year's worth of uh, dirt and everything and I still need to power wash the driveway and the bricks and the front sidewalk, the front of the house, the side of the house. I still need to do a lot of power washing. So we'll ha you'll see that if you subscribe, you'll see that coming up here in the next couple weeks or months where I pull off the power wash and just start tackling little bits and pieces here and there. And it's, it's a big task when you try to work on it all in one weekend and do all of that. But just like this, where I just did the patio and the back little bit of the, the house where the patio is at, it really wasn't that difficult and it was actually a nice day outside. So that kind of helped. But as you can see, the patio was very stained and everything and it's still not completely clean, but you know, it is what it is. It looks nice again. So we're, that's what I'm focusing on is it looks nicer than it what it did. And it was really green. Like right there, you can see some green stuff at, right around the back door and uh, dirt and everything. So we will finish here with the outside stuff and move on into the cleaning in a little bit. But this was my deep cleaning zone that I was working on was the back patio. you be 
It's been several days since I did some of the yard work. I still need to go out and do some of that. But uh, Thursday, uh, it is now Saturday, by the way. <laughs> Saturday, I don't want to do anything. I just want to curl up in a ball on the couch or in my bed. But I forced myself to get up and get out and do stuff. And um, partly because um, my sister, my mom may have been coming through town as they drove back up to my mom's, mom's house today but they decided not to I so but because I thought that they were coming I needed to fix my toilet my whole toilet so after they left on Wednesday it was probably like Thursday I think it was Thursday because I was taking I it was Thursday afternoon or something like that and the flapper and it's in a ziploc baggie the flapper decided to give out on me on this toilet and that happens occasionally I mean these are rubber so it's it happens um, so it's just basically the toilet was constantly running and um, I turned the water off Thursday and since then the entire tank is drained the bowl still has water so I know it's the flapper <laughs> I know it's this um, so I am gonna go ahead I basically because the tank was empty I went ahead and removed the flapper from the tank and pulled mine out for a sample to go to the hardware store to get the same one and that is exactly what I did I got the same one all I need to do is remove this little thing right here so that way the little arms can go wrap around the piping but home ownership <laughs> so but luckily this is a five dollar replacement and I can do it myself it was just a little bit of gas to get to the hardware store and I decided while I was there I was gonna get some other things for the bedroom refresh so that way it's just out of my you know out of the way I don't have to run back to the hardware store to get them although I probably will because you never can get out of the going to the hardware store multiple times when you're working on a project but what are you two doing? You guys have been going at it since yesterday. Binks. Binks. Jack. Stop. So basically, all I'm gonna do is take the scissors and just snip. So that way it just looks exactly like what I had in the toilet. And now I'm going to, I have help, <laughs> but I'm going to adjust the camera so we can look at this. While I have this removed, I am going to clean around the hole there. Okay. I'm going to use Dawn Dis. Then, I know my arms are in the way, but there are little hooks on the side of the thing and I'm just putting the little holes in there. And then, and that should work, should. <laughs> And now I wait basically to see if I hear any drainage. I thought I heard some drainage, so I replaced the, or did a flush, filling it up again. Maybe the flapper just the way I put it in there, it didn't suction the right way, so give it a reset. 
I am gonna go get some food coloring and pour it in there and see if the water turns colors in the bowl. So that is one other thing to see if it is working. I know Binks is in the way. I went ahead and used blue food coloring and um, hopefully right now it is kind of dingy water because of what I stirred up when I cleaned the toilet bowl or toilet tank. So um, if it changes colors here, if I hear it run, then I know that didn't work and I'll turn the water off again and have to call the plumber again and have them come out and look at the toilet. And here soon we'll be able to see all three of my inside cats. I do have three black male cats. They will all be three years old in May and they are all from the same litter. They had a fourth brother and my dryer just went off. Um, the fourth brother, one of my neighbors adopted and um, Ralphie is living a very spoiled life down the street and I do see him every once in a while when I go over and visit with a neighbor and um and I do get cards from Ralphie for pretty much every single holiday so very cute and she's another my neighbor's another cat person so um I was showing that I pretty much finished the vinegar <laughs> for that and now I don't quite like the color of my cabinets after I did my bathroom refresh so those were three options that I found and I'm aiming towards the middle one and the one on the on your screen it was on the right so the paler blue it almost looks like the cabinet color except for that it's more gray toned and not as bright it's more muted and that's kind of what I was trying to aim for when I painted the cabinet but kind of looking at this my option I like the middle one and I also like the the paler color and the navy color, the one that's the very dark one, it's kind of on the purple tone, but it would still go with the bathroom as well. So uh, <laughs> it's like, I still don't know which one to decide. So my next step is to actually take the samples and paint entire drawers, doors like paint the entire cabinet and have all four of the different colors and see which one I like. And the fourth color would be the cabinet that the color that it is currently. 
and then go from there. Uh, but it's still kind of like I haven't done that. So uh, hopefully when I'm on vacation, I will be able to take some time and actually do that. But, you know, I will be working on my bedroom refresh during that time as well. So we'll get to as much as we can get done, but we are just going to go ahead and continue through and clean the rest of the house and get it prepared and I will share a grocery haul at the end of this video. And even though it's a measures for all my pain, I still dream about you lately and I knew she have the pet gates sitting around because we even though we are moving into summer months we still have some cold fronts that come through like we are having currently as I'm doing this voiceover it is a nice like 60 something degrees outside it is raining though so um, but I may open up the windows here a little bit later my neighbor was having some uh, yard crew working on her yard through the rain I think they were cleaning out flower beds and putting bark, uh, bark mulch down and all of that stuff and um, while it was raining. <laughs> uh, so I will probably be opening the windows here a little bit later and let the cats kind of like watch the stuff. But I do have all of the gates and I just wanted to get them into an area because I kind of don't like looking at them, but I like having them because the cats have busted through the windows and chased other cats, busted through the screens and chased other cats. So having the little pet gates, they're child gates basically, and um, having them on the windows kind of uh, deters them from busting through and it kind of helps also because I have that one that sits in front of the laundry room door and the cats can jump over it, but they don't because they're used to that gate being in front of the windows and they can't get around the gate out the windows. So it kind of helps having that little having the little gates around the window to help with the laundry room when the laundry room 
And the only reason why I don't want them in the laundry room is because I have the gas water heater in there and I just don't want them messing around in that area because, it, you know, it's, it's gas. So it's a little nerve wracking when that happens. So, um, but yeah, that's, I'm just trying to get all the pet gates back into a central location. I currently do not have a place to store them when it's not the season for opening up the windows. I will need to actually like figure out where that's going to be. And it may be that I need to move them into the garage, but I need to clean out the garage. I also have my guest bedroom closet, but that also has to be cleaned out. So it's kind of, it's a slow work in progress. I have a gate for, excuse me. I have a gate for every single window in the house, except for the bathroom window in my bathroom and the laundry room. But that gate that is in the door for the laundry room, that stays up year round. So it would be all the other windows in the house. And um, it is nice to have them readily available inside the house in case I need to block the cats off from a room. And like I said, it comes in handy that I use those for the windows because they, the short ones, the small ones, they can jump over and they have, but the taller ones, they can jump over it, they just don't. So um, I can block off rooms if need be and um, have the gates there so that the cats can't get into the doors or any of that into the rooms if need be so um but yeah that's we're just going to continue on cleaning through the house and you saw the dishes and those canisters or food containers whatever you want to call them i pulled them out in last week video last week's video and i decluttered the top cabinets of my kitchen and as you can see i have yet to actually put them in a box for donation so i will be doing that here shortly and putting them in a box for donations so i will continue on and like i said we will have a grocery haul at the very end of the video groceries for this month uh, besides getting another hungry root box which I forgot to skip and wait till later in the month or to cancel it completely which I will go in there and cancel it completely it is a bit expensive for the amount of food I get out of it 
Um, it is healthier food, it is. But um, it's trying to stay within my budget. <laughs> so um, I just got back from Aldi. I still need to go to another grocery store, but I will not do that until probably later this week and um, get the items that I need. I don't need them right away. One item is Motrin and I will just take a walk to Walgreens and get some um, because I didn't even look to see if they had any or ibuprofen at um, Aldi. I just kind of skipped through that section because I didn't want to look at it. I also skipped right through the whole like holiday section. So real quick, my battery light is flashing at me. So let's go ahead and get through this. Okay, I got two salad mixes, some brownie mix, some au gratin potatoes, some tea, English breakfast and regular, sugar, chocolate syrup, some a canned chicken, sweet and condensed milk, diced tomatoes, stewed tomatoes, some green beans, some broccoli. Uh, I'm trying to think. Two things of vinegar back there. Cadbury eggs, chocolate chips, ginger, uh, celery, strawberries, frozen and fresh, milk. Uh, that is salt. I ran out of regular table salt. Then we have oranges and lemons or clementines and lem uh, lemons apple cider vinegar, avocado oil, ground beef, mushrooms, uh, brown sugar. We have some chocolate bars back there. And then applesauce, flaxseed, potato chips, croissants, biscuits, stewed tomatoes, uh, tomato sauce, tomato paste, and some chicken and Greek yogurt. And we have some heavy cream as well. And there was also a ham back there. Okay, hopefully that wasn't too fast. If it was, I'll slow it down when I go to edit. But that's basically what I got. It was $120. The receipt is in my purse, which is right behind me. But because of the battery light, I don't feel like digging for it. Well, maybe, 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 maybe. Um, that was Lowe's. Where did it go? Maybe I already folded it up in the wallet when I put the card away. Um, so it was like $120 and some change or something like that. So um, some of the stuff was just getting stock items that I needed and some were just like, I just got home from, or I went to work today. So I, um, of course, am craving chocolate right now. So there's chocolate stuff in here including Cadbury eggs and Sam, what are you doing? What? Meanwhile, behind camera with pet with pet parents. That's what's going on behind the camera. <laughs> um, there's another cat somewhere around here running crazy. But um, they're all happy that I'm home, so I'm going to go ahead and put all of these groceries away. And, um, and yeah, that's, that's my life.